uh, Coach Mark Pope and Alex Barcel here following BYU's 82-77 win over Pepperdine in overtime to advance to tomorrow's championship game. We'll get started with a statement from Coach here in a sec. Same as past press conferences, please use the raise hand function if you would like to ask a question. Go ahead, Coach. Um, you know, what a, a, a epic semifinal, right? You just love it. Um, you know, uh, postseason is just a beautiful thing. And you get to uh, play against a great team that Pepperdine is with two big time, big time, big time players. You know, the leading scorer in the history of the WCC tournament and Kessler Edwards, who's going to be a big time pro and an unbelievable coaching staff. And um, and you just have a great game like we did tonight. And so we're super grateful for that. We're grateful for Pepperdine for unbelievable performance tonight. And we're really grateful for, uh, well, I'm personally really grateful for the toughness of our guys that we were able to kind of get it done at the end. Um, and, you know, so much of that credit on the floor and off the floor goes to Alex Barcelo sitting right here beside me. So we're, we're incredibly happy and excited about moving on. Okay, Jeff, go ahead. First question. Yeah, Coach. Can you talk a little bit further about what you got from Alex tonight? He, he had 23 points, but he was all over the place in overtime. And of course, he got the basket that put you ahead for the first time all night at the end of regulation. Yeah, uh, it's not the first time Alex has done that. He's, he's snuck a bus, uh, basket, and he did that against Pacific also at home in a, in a huge game for us, a, a game that was so important that we had to gut out just like this one. Um, uh, you know, it was interesting because Alex got a lot done off the ball tonight. Um, you know, his first couple threes were both threes where he was a snap guy, and and it was it was it was really effective for us. And credit to the other guys on the team. Um, Alex coming up with huge rebounds down the stretch. I mean, it was just it seemed like every other possession he was the guy coming up with a big time, big time rebound. Made some uh, great defensive plays. Um, so all that on the court is important, but it really is 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 been the building of this team that he started in earnest this summer as we were trying to figure out how to function as a team with the limitations of COVID and him reaching out to every single guy and lifting them up and helping them understand what it meant to be a BYU Cougar and what it meant to be a part of the, you know, what we're striving to have as the best locker room in America and what it meant to turn frustration into fight and teaching our guys one by one individually what that means and then doing it by example. Clearly I'm a big fan. Uh, if I could, uh... Ask a follow-up question to Alex. Uh, <clears throat> can you just talk about uh, what it means to get to the championship game tomorrow and, and what kind of energy level you expect your team to have going against Gonzaga? Oh, it means everything to us, really. Uh, we set out with a, a few goals for this team at the beginning of the season. And, I mean, we knew the, the noise that was out there. Everyone was kind of counting us out. And um, this group really rallied together and the coaching staff rallied us together and um, kind of met on the, the mountaintop up at uh, up in Provo and just had a heart to heart talk about what we wanted for this season. And um, I mean, we, we see it. Things are coming true and, you know, we still got games left ahead of us and things that we still want to accomplish. But I mean, this this team is just so, so great at going out there and laying everything we have on the floor. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do tomorrow night. We're going to give everything we have. If I can ask you about one play in particular at the end of uh of overtime when Johnson made that steal of the pass that was uh, trying to get to Edwards and he somehow flipped it back to you. Can you, what did you see when you, when that play unfolded? Oh, I just saw that Spencer was worried about the right things. He, he had one, one thought in his mind and that was winning. And I mean, that, that carries on throughout our entire team. We knew that that, that play won us the game. I, I think um, him going out there and getting a steal. I mean, we, we, stress the entire game and before the game in our scout, just making Edwards get tough catches. And that's exactly what he did towards the end right there. Darnell, go ahead. Yeah, Alex, uh, we've heard the phrase turning frustration to fight a lot <coughs> this year for you guys. Uh, this game seemed to be a real good example of that because a lot was going wrong with turnovers and things. How did you guys persevere through that to win this game? We kept, I mean, we kept looking each other in the eye in our media timeouts and telling each other the game's not over. It's not over. We got a lot of game left. And that's exactly what we do. I mean, that was one of the things that Coach Pope said um, to start off this. And uh, that's exactly what we do. We turn frustration into fight. And there was every single thing that probably could have gone wrong in the first half for us in the first couple minutes. But these guys just battled back. We, we've been in positions like that throughout the season and come out with wins. We've also come out with losses. 
And, um, you know, last time we played Pepperdine at their place, it didn't turn out too well for us. But, you know, I think we really focused on what we did wrong in, in that game, and that was rebounding. And, um, you know, rebounding, getting stops. Um, we put a couple kills together towards the end, and our, ben our bench was just so into it, so energetic, talking to us on each media timeout. Um, we could hear them on the sidelines, just the energy that they had calling out every play, knowing Scout. And, uh, man, I'm just so – I'm so, so proud of us. Mitch, go ahead. Yeah, this question's for, for Mark. Uh, Mark, you guys go the last 433 uh, without a field goal, yet you still come away with a win, and, and you win by five points. Just uh, what can you say about the, the defensive effort down the – in the final minutes, but also the overtime? Yeah, it was a it was a collective effort. Um, it was really really so proud of that. Um, you think about uh, Pepperdine has two, you know, um, for Pepperdine generational players. I mean, you know, you don't walk into this tournament with the leading scorer in the history of the tournament very often, and they do. And then this Kessler Edwards is a pro, and both those guys go get buckets really at at will a lot of times. And so, you know, between uh, the effort we made in the backcourt and and the way things were shored up. Uh, by our front line going to help. Matt Harms is such a he's he's such a prolific. I mean, he's the defensive player of the year. I mean, you don't walk into the in the in the West Coast Conference tournament with the defensive player of the year on your roster all the time either. Especially at BYU, we haven't been walking in with the defensive player of the year. So uh, just a collective effort. And then and then you look at it. I mean, I don't know how many of those closing rebounds Alex Barcelo came up with, but I think he probably came up with more than anybody else. And so. It is a team. It is a it is a hundred percent a team, a team effort, and and we're really proud of it. You know, we've we've joked around a, a little bit about how we're beautiful ugly. If we win beautiful ugly, we've won twenty times beautiful ugly this year, and we dig it, man. Let's go. Let's make Mark, some t-shirts. A win's a win. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Mark, you've always talked about how you you believe that uh, BYU is a place that can win big, and and you want to take a shot at this thing. Uh, just maybe speak to the. The opportunity that's in front of you, 40 minutes away from an automatic bid and facing the number one team in the country on Tuesday night. Well, we're the only team in, in America. We're the only team in the country that's got to or will get to play Gonzaga three times. So um, we're really blessed because they're a great team. They are a great team. We talk about generational <laughs> things. They're a generational team. I don't know. I don't know when or if I've seen a team with five guys on the floor that are as skilled and can pass the ball and make plays for each other like they can. And um, we were we were incredibly frustrated with our first effort. Our second effort was a little bit better, and we got to find a way to step up and raise our level of play uh, to match them. Um, they deserve a great game tomorrow, and we're hungry to play a great game. And we think we think we think we have more in the tank. We believe we do, and so it is a it is a real blessing. You couldn't ask for anything more as a as an athlete or a team or a coach to be able to uh, get another shot at those guys because they're really special. But we think we're special also. All right, Sean, go ahead. Yeah, coach. Uh, kind of similar to to what we just asked Alex about Spencer's final play, that final steal. I mean, just how much had to go right, um, and how much did Spencer kind of have to. I guess, like Alex said, focus on the right things. Like you were saying about Trevin, even a couple of weeks ago, just focusing on the right things, being in the right spot. And then also Connor being in the right spot to come up with that steal on the other side of it. Just, I mean, just yeah, how much I had to go right, I guess. Yeah, you know what? It's, it's, it's something that's really special about our roster. Um, it's something that these guys have taken to heart is that we believe that every single guy on this team is making game-winning contributions. I mean, Alex Barcel will tell you about Cam Pearson's pregame speech. It might have been the greatest pregame speech ever. I mean, this guy is teaching our team what VDVC Viki means and how it goes down and why it applies to us. I don't know if any of our guys know any Latin, but they do now. And they know it with a ton of juice. And then you think about like every single guy down the row, whether it's Hunter Erickson making, uh, ask our players, Hunter Erickson gives us the best scout look that you could possibly want. Um, and Brandon Warren, and Spence making that play and and Connor Harding, you know, he didn't have a great night, but he was a guy that we trusted down the stretch to come in and actually keep us together. And, um, you know, Caleb Lohner played a boatload of minutes today and was just so solid. And, 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 you know, it's just, you go down the list, everybody's contributing. And I do think our guys believe, I do think they believe more and more every day 
that every single member of our team is making vital winning contributions to our team every single game. I think they believe it. I'm going to go back to Cam Pearson. So Cam ran in, you know, we, we give this pregame speech. A different guy gives, gives it every game. Cam's now 3-0. and He's super proud of that. And so Cam ran into the locker room about two minutes before he was supposed to deliver his pregame speech. And he was so nervous. And he's not nervous because he's scared of talking in front of the team. He's not scared at all. He's nervous because he knows that his two minutes in that locker room in front of our team is going to make a difference if we win or lose, just like everybody else does. And so going back to that play that Spencer made, I mean, that's one of a hundred plays in the game that, that was made by somebody or, or somebody else that, that made the difference in the game. And it, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see a team function. It, it just is inspiring. And so that's what I think about that. All right. Thanks, coach. Thanks, Alex. Uh, congrats and good luck tomorrow.